Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make Wild Bill Hickok. And this is an attempt at um, a more historical accurate version than uh, for movies. Basically, I just googled uh, uh, Wild Bill Hickok colorized and this is one of the things that came up. Now, let's get right to it. Now, just so you know, I cannot find a hat that fit very well because I don't think I have a Wild Bill Hickok style hat in online. But, there are a couple things that I can recommend. One of them is, if I can find it, uh, the Wallingford hat because it does have the one side of the brim pushed up. Um, let's see here. Another one that could work is the stalker hat. Which is what I want with. Um, I believe that the strider hat could also, no wait, drifter hat. Drifter hat could work. But, if you can find it in all black. Um, let's see here. Um, the Kennedy hat could work if you found it in the right color. Um, well, ignore my little brother in the background. Um, by the way, did anyone else have this just randomly appear um, in their uh, wardrobe? Because I have no clue what it is. It just confuses me. Um, and uh, that's going to be all for hats. Moving on, there's no, going to be no eyewear, no masks, um, no bandanas. For neckwear, you're going to want to throw on the neat string tie in this kind of purple color. Um, for coats, there are a couple options that you can go with. The one that I settled on was the classic frock coat in black. But another one that could work um, is... The Daventry coat or Daventry jacket, which I do really like. I was gonna go with it, just it didn't hang down far enough in my, for what I was going for. Oh wait, can I just say how much I like that? Actually, has like the uh, the gold chain hanging down like they used to for uh, pocket watches. I wish they had like actual coats that or vests that had that hanging across it because that'd look cool. But um, moving on, no ponchos for vests. You're going to want to go with the paisley vest in this kind of... Uh, actually, there's a couple colors you can go with. You could go with this kind of like green gold type color. Or you can go with the brighter one. I went with the darker one because that's what looked like in the picture. Moving on, uh, for shirt. In the picture, he's wearing a sash, which I wish we could have as a gun belt. Or with the gun belts, even. But we can't. So I just went with the Corale shirt. Which does have a sash. And it looks pretty similar to the kind of shirts that he actually did wear. So yeah, moving on. Uh, no spenders, you won't see them. No gauntlets, no gloves, no rings. No belts. Um, buckles. Your choice. I don't think he's actually wearing one in the picture. Let me check here. Oh, okay. For buckles, he's actually wearing like a little um, gold one, so I just throw on one that I think looks decently similar to the one he's wearing. That works. That looks close to the one he's wearing. Um, weapons equipment. Now, in the picture, he's wearing an all-black gun belt with black holsters. So there are a couple options for that. If you didn't mind it looking kind of dirty, you could throw on the dead boot holsters, which is actually what I'm gonna do because I simply like them more. But if you don't want something like that, you could always throw on something like the agency gun belt. I, again, I just like the dead boot stuff better. I think it looks better. Um, for weapons chance, I actually did go and throw on the Whitford Compass because 
um, interesting story. The Davis Touch Shootout, which um, was one of the very few Western shootouts that actually happened like a movie, like the famous in the middle of the street, quick draw type stuff, was actually the Davis Tut shootout, which happened when Davis Tut, I think a couple, one or two days before the shootout actually happened, um, he was gambling with Wild Bill Hickok, and uh, Hickok kept winning. So Davis Tut goes, and he yoinks Hickok's watch, like his pocket watch. So, um, Hickok looks at him and says that he doesn't want to see him wearing the, um, the watch around. The next day, um, Hickok's sitting there walking around the town. I think it was Abilene. I'm not entirely sure what town it was. But he's sitting there walking around. He sees Davis Tut walking down the street wearing the pocket watch. He stops him in the middle of the street and says, by the way, this is paraphrasing. He says, if you, cro if you um, try to cross the street, then I will shoot you or I will kill you or something like that. So, Davis Tut looks at him and goes across the street. Bill draws, shoots him dead. If I'm not mistaken, he actually did get arrested for that, but he was acquitted or something like that. But yeah, interesting story. Moving on, for pants, I went and threw on the black tuxedo pants. Oh, you could throw on the gray ones or the blue ones. Either one of those will work. No nightgowns, no chaps. For boots, now you can't really see anything below his uh, thigh in the picture, but... Well, I can basically, so long as they look fine and don't really um, mess up the way that the outfit looks in general, they should be good. So I want the worn roper boots in black. And for spurs, I just want the black Western Rider spurs. Now, I'm going to go show you what um, hair and mustache I'm using. And I also suggest whatever I need to, but I'm using uh, pomade in it, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that. But for the hair, I'm using the long middle parted in color 14 for the purpose of he did part his hair in the middle and it was about shoulder length. And I wish that we had one that was more like... I don't know, like it went back more. Like the middle part in single player. But we don't, so yeah. Um That could be useful for something in the future. And for his mustache, I use the noble in color fourteen. Although there are a couple other things that you can go with, like if you wanted to. I'll just go up to the top and show you. Let's see here. Color fourteen. Um, the waters could work, but it's not quite big enough. Same for the barkeep and the professor. Um, again, the noble works best from what I can tell. If you wanted to, you might be able to throw on the goatee or the nightly or the count, but I don't think they really do very well. They don't do justice for Wild Blackhawk's mustache. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's gonna be it for the hair and mustache. Now, um, a couple announcements. First off, I'm gonna try to get videos out a lot more. I'm gonna be aiming to get the next Mafia video out within um, a day or two, as well as a dressing the part either on the outlaw or the trapper. Preferably that law, but it could go either way. I've also got a list of uh, characters that I'm going to be doing in the future. My speaker just turned off, but I do have a list of characters um, to do for my normal series. 
and I do want to go ahead and state that once I finish Mafia um, Definitive Edition, I'm going to be moving on to Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. So that's going to be fun. And there's a couple different ideas that I'm kind of thinking about going with. Which are, one of them is I might try to do something kind of like short film type stuff. But I don't really know the best way to go about doing that. Um, I've also thought about doing like a series, which I've been talking about since the start of my channel, but I don't know if that's ever actually going to happen. Um, another thing is I might branch off and do a couple different games other than only Red Dead. Because basically I don't want to have to worry about getting burnt out on Red Dead. Another thing, I'm thinking about doing something special for Halloween. Um, so that's going to be cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, by the way, I do want to apologize for the last Mafia video got up where the mic was a weird. I don't know what caused that. I think it was something to do with something lagged really bad and it messed with the sentence in OBS, but hopefully I can sort that out. Yeah, I'm hoping to do a lot more stuff and a lot higher quality. I remember, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I love to see the channel grow. I really hope it does. Because... Yeah. But, um, let's see here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Love to see the channel grow. I'll put a link down to the Discord um, for the server. The uh, roleplay Discord um, below. And, um, well, have a good one. Adios.